Today's episode is about the car parking slots monitoring system using a computer application designed in visualbasic.net which is also known as vb.net. This project is entirely based on Arduino and vb.net. Today's episode covers number one sensors installation, number two circuit diagram, number three interfacing, number four Arduino programming, number five computer application designing and finally number six testing. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are a number one Arduino, number two six infrared sensors, this is the infrared sensor, this is the transmitter LED and this is the receiver LED. As you can see the three male headers are clearly labeled with VCC ground and out. And finally number three connection wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram of the car parking monitoring system. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. These are the six infrared sensors. Each infrared sensor represents a slot. VCC of all the infrared sensors are connected together and is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. Similarly, the ground pins of all the infrared sensors are connected together and is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the out pins of the infrared sensors are connected with pin number 4, pin number 5, pin number 6, pin number 7, pin number 8 and finally pin number 9. All these sensors are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. The VCC pins of all the infrared sensors are connected together and connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. Similarly, all the ground pins of the infrared sensors are connected together and connected with the Arduino's ground. The out pins of all the infrared sensors are connected with pins 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 of the Arduino. Pin number 2 and pin number 3 are connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which I will explain in my future videos. With the help of Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, the car parking slots can be monitored from anywhere around the world using your cell phone. Node MCU module is not included in today's episode is in today's episode. The car parking slots will be monitored using an application design in visualbasic.net. The interfacing is very simple. Now let's discuss the Arduino's programming. Integer parking one slot one IR sensor is equal to 4. Parking 1 slot 1 infrared sensor connected with pin number 4 of the Arduino. Parking 1 slot 2 infrared sensor connected with pin number 5 of the Arduino. Parking 1 slot 3 infrared sensor connected with pin number 6 of the Arduino. Integer parking 2 slot 1 IR sensor is equal to 7 
which means that parking to slot 1 infrared sensor is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino and similarly for the remaining two infrared sensors. Then I defined six variables of the type string. C data is a variable of the type string. This variable will consist of the complete message. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. CL.begin 9600 activates the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. Using the pin mode function set all the infrared sensors as input. Pin mode function is a built-in function and it takes two arguments as the input, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. Then start a while loop function. This loop simply consists of the six user-defined functions. These are the calling functions. P1 slot 1 which means parking 1 slot 1. Parking 1 slot 2. Parking 1 slot 3. Parking 2 slot 2 and so on. C data equals to C data plus sensor 1 plus comma plus sensor 2 plus comma plus sensor 3 plus comma plus sensor 4 plus comma plus sensor 5 plus comma plus sensor 6 plus comma comma will be used as a delimiter serial dot print ln c data since this complete message to the computer application delay 2000 2000 is in milliseconds which is equal to 2 seconds empty c data variable for the new message white p1 slot 1 parking 1 slot 1 if digital read parking 1 slot 1 IR sensor equals equals low which means if the car is in front of the sensor then sensor 1 is equal to P1 S1 on parking 1 slot 1 and then there is a delay of 200 milliseconds if digital read parking 1 slot 1 IR sensor equals equals high which means if the car is not in front of the sensor then sensor 1 equals P1 S1 off and then there is a delay of 200 milliseconds and similarly for all the remaining functions. Now let's design the application. First of all open Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. Click on a new project. Make sure you select the Windows of Forms application and click OK. Click on the toolbox and double click on the text box to add it to the form. Now add 6 more text boxes. Simply copy and paste the label. Now again click on the toolbox and add two group boxes.
Now let's change the text and the font size. When the parking one group box is selected, add three check boxes. While the form 1 is selected, change the form text. Now finally add a serial port and a timer. Our basic application designing is completed. Now let's discuss the programming. First of all, we start by importing system.io and system.io.ports. Then we set the port name, baud rate, data bits, parity, stop bits, etc. I've already explained this in very detail in my previous tutorials. Check my playlist on desktop applications designing as this code is inside timer 1 so this code is executed every 2 seconds dim is as string defines a variable s of the type string the purpose of this line of code is to store the complete message in variable s this is the message which is received from Arduino then these instructions are used to set the delimiter type which is comma in my case with the help of comma the entire message will be split in six strings then each string will be displayed in its corresponding text box each text box represents the infrared sensor data received function I have used this function in so many projects and I have already explained this in very detail. The purpose of this function is to read the serial port and store the data in text box 1. And then we simply check the text boxes. If in string text box 2 dot text p1 s1 on then this condition means if text box 2 has the text P1 S1 on that it means there is a car in front of the sensor so that's why check the slot 1 chk P1 slot 1 dot checked is equal to true while if the text box 2 has a text P1 S1 off then simply uncheck the box which means that there is no car in front of the IR sensor and similarly for all the remaining text boxes so we are done with the application designing and programming the circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from my blog page the link is given in the description I have already uploaded the Arduino program let's watch this project in action
I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.